Well, it's the Monday before Thanksgiving, which means we have three days to get our turkey ready, but we don't have one yet. So we're gonna go buy a turkey. No, we don't need the Reese's chips. pig out on turkey, but we figured our reptiles might like to join, so we're going to let them pig out on turkey today. We're going to be feeding a variety of our reptiles, not everyone of course, but we're going to be feeding a couple lizards, one or two snakes, a couple frogs, and finally Rex, our alligator. But first things first, we have to like chop this thing up. I've never cut up a turkey before. Yeah, I'm normally the one who does all the protein cutting in this house, so we get to watch Emily struggle with the raw turkey. How do I cut off the... What are you trying to cut off first? I don't even know. I could just cut it like here, right? Sure, cut away. Oh, uh, our knives are terrible. You're <laughs> going right into a bone. <laughs> I don't know how to cut a turkey. Yeah. What if I just cut like a piece off like right here? That's right, right? Yeah. Look at that, that's a beautiful cut. I could like teach my own cooking channel. Yeah, watch out, JP and Julia. Who's the turkey cutting master now? I love how smooth it is. <laughs> so you want to like with wings, especially like if you're gonna go for the joint, you want to start like here, and then you just kind of. Wow! Fun fact: wing. Ed used to work at a, a meat shop. Cut <clears throat> above that. <clears throat> how did you do it so easily? There you go. Yeah. I did it all Look, by myself. You can flap now. Oh my gosh, don't be flap, morbid. Flap, flap. Why? Why did you do that? Ugh. You know what? I think I'm just gonna use the power of editing to mostly debone it and chop it up. We have the entire turkey here, which is definitely more than we need to feed the few reptiles we're going to today. So we're actually gonna use a lot of this for ourselves. So what we don't use today, we're gonna make our own Thanksgiving dinner here for, for humans, I suppose. We've got a bunch of chopped up small pieces of muscle here. We're gonna use that for like the garter snake I think we're gonna feed and maybe the legless lizard. This we can feed to some bigger animals. Maybe our, we could feed Chloe, the snapping turtle. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. We also have some other surprises in store for you and we're going to end with feeding the neck to our alligator Rex. Well, let's start with the legless lizard. This is Legolas, one of our two legless lizards or Sheltopusic. They are a really cool species of reptile. We have several videos about them already, so if you want to learn more, feel free to check those out. You're a sweetheart. Our other legless lizard, Lieutenant Dan, isn't as friendly, so no. we're not going to feed him on camera. We'll bring some up for him after this, but we're just going to feed you on camera, little girl. All right, let's see if she likes it. Here, smell it. She's never had raw turkey before. Is she uh, had chicken? Uh, I think she's had chicken. She really likes eggs. Yep. She has like grain free dog food all the time. Oh, try. Oh, yeah. She likes it. Oh. Good job. Oh, you're such a good lizard. So, some of you might be wondering why we're feeding raw turkey, or it might look kind of funny, but the reason for that is because simply they would not encounter cooked turkey in the wild. So, when you feed lizards meat, you feed it raw, because when you cook it, you actually do cook out some of the nutrients too. This is great. She's so used to the, ca the camera. Yeah, she doesn't care. She's like, I'll eat anywhere, anytime, anything. Yeah. Just put it in front of me. <laughs> so, do you think she'll go through a food coma after eating too? <laughs> she might. She'll just want to sit down and watch football after yeah, this. Yeah, no football game after this, girl. Sorry. There's always room for one more. One more bite of turkey. There's always room for one more bite of turkey. Well, this will be her meal for the week. Yeah, she will be a happy girl. She gonna go back for that little piece? Really, that too? Is this dessert? 
Well, if you're gonna clean your plate, yeah, move this over too. <laughs> <laughs> she is gonna clean her plate. Good job, girl. So before we switch her out for the next reptile that, or animal that we're going to feed, just a kind of a cool fact that I've noticed with keeping legless lizards, when they go into shed, they turn like pretty white in coloration, and then they shed either all at once or in pieces. Like right now she's shedding the like last third of her body, I'd say. You can see the color difference here. They turn white, and then it goes dark, and then it sheds off. It's really kind of neat. Mm -hmm. Should we make up a to-go plate for Dan? Yep, let's make, a, let's make some food up for him. Okay, this is the meal we're gonna bring up to Lieutenant Dan for his Thanksgiving feast. And now let's move on to, let's do the pixie frog. Here is the Hypno Toad. This is Hypno, our pixie frog. He's getting bigger and bigger every day. Yeah. We've never fed him turkey before, but I bet he'll eat it. He eats everything else. Why would it stop him from eating turkey? Yeah, I bet you'll eat turkey. Are you ready for Thanksgiving? There you go. He's just a blob. Yep. Yeah. I'm a little turkey jumping around. Boop. Oh, you missed it. Oh, you missed it again. You're terrible oh, at you eating. You didn't miss it that time. <laughs> and it's gone. Yep. <laughs> the turkey is now part of the hole. <laughs> yeah, he is like just a black hole, isn't he? Pretty much. And he's not like, he's, he looks so fat, but that's just how they are. He's only also, fed every couple weeks when here. When he sits normally, he pushes his belly out. Oh, okay. So he's, he's like pudgy, but it's a lot of air. Oh, he poofs it out when he's, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Want another piece? Oh, <laughs> mine. Oh my gosh. Get in the belly. <laughs> yeah, I think he likes turkey. Yeah, I would say so. He's like he has a tongue. You look like an actual Touch frog. No, nah, I'm not touching <laughs> that. That would have been my finger gone right now. <laughs> yeah, guys, look at this. This orange. Isn't he beautiful under those legs? Ah. <laughs> He's like, quite poking me. I'm eating here. We we do still have that special needs Pac-Man frog. Yeah, we'll or bring that one out and eat frog. her really quick. Okay. And here's our little horned frog, covered in dirt. Yeah. She has some spinal issues, so she was an adoption. I wasn't sure how long she'd live, but she's still hanging in there. Yeah. She she spins in circles when she's nervous. Yeah. It's cute and sad at the same time. And when she lunges, she goes, eh. Yeah. Eh. That's right, she lunges up, doesn't yeah. she? Here. Do you want Thanksgiving feast? Oh, jeez. I don't know why I flinched there. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of see her spinal deformity as she sits here. But she seems to be doing well oh. otherwise. And the last amphibian we're feeding in this video is our little gray tree frog. He was given to us by a fan like earlier this year. Was it last year even? I, I think, think it was, was earlier this year. Earlier this year is when we picked up the anaconda, the black headed and the milk frogs yep. too. He came in with the milk frogs. Yeah, so he's doing great. But... He also is really cute when he gets comfortable. Yeah, he just like hunkered down on my finger right there. Kind of folds up his arms and hunkers down. Yeah. And I guarantee he'll eat. <laughs> <laughs> he like grabs the tongs every time I feed him. He's oh. like, ah. Yeah, give me all the food. He can do it. That's probably all he needs though. Yeah, that's a big bite. <laughs> we don't want him getting chunky. No, he's kind of our garbage disposal, which a frog as a garbage disposal for your animals is not too common, but he eats so much. Like if there's a cricket that's, I've been pinching or I've already pinched and killed and nobody wants to eat it, I just feed it, it to him. Yeah. yeah. Or a worm that I've like torn off to feed garters and I still have a chunk left. He'll take care of it. He's our garbage disposal frog. Oh, he's so chunky. He is. That was a big meal for you. Oh, I made a big mistake, guys. <laughs> he might go into the after Thanksgiving feast coma. I guarantee he... Oh, well, he looks like he's ready for more. Maybe. Should we move on to a snake? Sure, we can move on to snakes. All right. This is Twiggy, our common garter snake. We've had her longer than any of our other garters, and she's been in programs for many years. She's literally done hundreds of educational programs, so she has taught thousands of people about snakes, which is really kind of cool. So she is going to try turkey for the first time today. Let's see if she likes it. She's like, oh, that smells funny. That doesn't smell like any of the things. Oh, oh, I'm going to eat it anyway. She doesn't care. That shouldn't surprise us. Yeah. I mean, she's so used to eating in front of people and eating different things. Yeah, she is the coolest garter ever. And Twiggy originally came from a basement of a house. Some, uh, there was an older gentleman who found her along with two others in his basement and he was going to kill them all because he didn't like snakes. Thankfully, we had a friend who went in and saved them all and it was in the winter, it sounds like, so she wasn't able to release them. So I took one, I took Twiggy and she kept the other two. Uh, I haven't heard about how the others are doing, but Twiggy here is doing great. Do you want another? Here, have this. Ah. There you go. Okay, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> One of the only snakes I'll hand feed with my hands. Yeah. Well, 
that's probably enough for Twiggy for today. I'll put together some little meals for our other garter snakes to feed uh, off camera, but let's move on to, I guess we'll feed Roger, our false water cobra. This guy is awesome. We've had him since he was a little baby, found him off Craigslist because some guy thought he was an actual cobra, bought him, realized he wasn't cool because he wasn't actually venomous, only mildly venomous, and so he listed him on Craigslist. So we have Roger. Hey, buddy. Will you like turkey? Let's see if he does. Will you eat this? He's usually a good eater and we give him a variety of stuff. So this shouldn't seem too out of the ordinary for him. You did him duck wings before. Yep. Duck's not a whole lot different than turkey. Oh, yes. A whole turkey wing. Go, Roger, go. This is awesome. No, you can't take it and go. <laughs> you have to eat it on camera. That's the only thing we ask. But, but I want to take it and go home. <laughs> this is Corona times. <laughs> you don't eat out in public. <laughs> Go Roger. Yeah, taking down a whole turkey wing. Good job, buddy. Are you nice and fat and happy now? Do you, do you guys have more? Yeah, I'll eat some eat more. more. Cool, I think next we should start heading downstairs. Yeah, we could do so. Rex and maybe a lizard on the way to Rex. Yeah. Before we feed Rex, we're going to make a quick stop here at the Timor monitors and give them some chunks of turkey. They're in their feeding log ready to go. Do you want Thanksgiving dinner? I don't think so, it's on click. Did you? Mm-hmm. Where are you? Oh, I see a tongue. Oh, wow, okay. Come on, little Timors. I know you guys are skittish, but you like turkey. Come on, you know you want it. Oh, okay. And that's how they're gonna eat for us. Yep. All right, tuck one in right here. Put it here. Uh -huh. Oh. All right, we'll do that instead. Since they don't want to eat from the tongs, we'll just hide their Thanksgiving dinner throughout their enclosure. We'll put a piece here and a piece here. We'll make them forage for it. We'll have to dig for that piece. Yeah, they constantly travel on that and smell in every one of those holes. Perfect. They'll find all their little pieces then with time. That'll be their Thanksgiving dinner. Perfect. <laughs> okay, right. should we do Rex? Sure, let's go down and do Rex. All right. Well, we have the chicken liver for Chloe first. Chloe? Do you want a treat before we feed Rex? Come here. Yep, there you go. Aw, little snack for Chloe. There you go, happy Thanksgiving, Chloe. There it goes. And now let's feed Rex. Last but not least, we have the turkey neck just for her. Hey, Rex. Well, she's shredding it stuff just off her pool. I'll have to yeah. get in there and clean that off. Target, target. There, good girl. Hey, Rex, your favorite thing, turkey neck. Hey, Rex. Here you go, all the black stuff is the uh, there you go. All the black stuff by your pool is the truck bed liner we try to use to seal it, but she just ripped it all off. Yeah. So that's what that mess is from. Aww. Go Rex, go. Good girl. She's actually lost a little bit of weight recently too. Yep. She's not as chunky as she used to be. Yep. She used to be really chunky. Now she's just kind of chunky. Yeah. She's a little thick. Yeah, she's actually a good weight now, I'd say. Yeah. Maybe a little bit overweight, but really not too bad. She was just our garbage disposal for too long, so we kept giving her all the leftover rodents, but we dialed that back, and now she's a much better weight, I think. No, I'm not going to feed you more. That's all you need. Happy Thanksgiving. So you don't want to give her that turkey gizzard? Oh, I guess we could, yeah. Yeah, all right, target. Target. Good. Oh, you almost fell there, girl. And it's gone. Yep, no more turkey gizzard. Good girl, Rex! Alright. Well, that was quick. Yeah, she's always quick to feed. Yeah, we're working with Rex to target at the end of this stick where I tap it and then she knows she has to touch it with her snout before she gets fed. And we're doing this in preparation for her new enclosure at the facility. It'll make feeding her and working with her and cleaning her enclosure a lot easier, I think. Which can't come soon enough. Yes. We cannot wait to move her to the facility. <laughs> yeah. Well, happy Thanksgiving, girls in here. I think we have one more to feed upstairs too, don't yep. we? One more. All right. 
We're gonna wrap up today's Thanksgiving special with Quasi, our very special needs snapping turtle that we hatched out earlier this year from a clutch of mystery turtle eggs. And he's still hanging in there. It's interesting getting him to eat though because he has no eyes and he's kind of special needs in many other ways too. So it's tough to get him to take that first bite. So you almost have to like tap his face a few times until he opens his mouth. He's starting to get better at it. This is actually my first time feeding him. Usually it's Ed who feeds him. You kind of just got to make him mad enough to actually want to bite whatever's yep. messing with him. There we go. Yeah. Got a bite in him. So now we wait. It takes him a while to realize that what's in his mouth is food. <laughs> yeah. So he gets super babied here, but that's that's how Quasimodo eats. Yep. And I think that's how we're going to end today's video. I'm just going to cup him in my hand so that he can suck that down if he wants to. But I hope you enjoyed today's Thanksgiving special of us feeding turkey to a bunch of our animals. Again, they don't normally eat turkey. That isn't their normal diet. Dude, dude, calm down. It's okay. All right, fine. I'll just put you back. <laughs> I'll let you eat this in peace. There, he'll eat it in the water. Yep. But again, we don't normally feed a complete diet of just turkey to our animals for everyone I f we fed today, except for Rex. Turkey was, the, this was their first time having turkey, so it was really cool to see them take it so readily. Rex has eaten a lot of turkey necks in her day. Yeah, we have friends and family members who save the organ meat from turkeys every year, so she gets a lot of turkey pieces. As always, we'd like to thank our amazing Patreon backers for supporting this channel. We used your funds to buy the turkey today to feed the animals for you guys to watch, so I hope you enjoyed this. And we're also curious, which animal in today's video was your favorite to watch eat turkey? I personally really liked Roger eating that whole turkey wing. It was in between him or the frog just devouring the turkey from the tongues and yeah. like grabbing the tongues with his feet. See, I, uh, in this instance, I knew all the other ones were going to eat. So Roger eating was a kind of surprise to me. Yeah. So that was cool just from a filming aspect. So Yeah, that was pretty cool. Let us know which animal was your favorite in today's video. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and happy Thanksgiving.